Hello everyone, let's dive into the word. I recall when I was in school, I used to study so hard just to get good grades. As I thought that getting good grades would lead me to better opportunities later on and also be accepted and, you know, it could give me opportunities to get awarded. Our government system somehow was also set up in a manner for students to memorize and regurgitate knowledge in exams. And if you could do, if you could do that well, you would have good opportunity to get good grades and, of course, you know, be awarded for that as well. Looking back, it was quite overwhelming for me as I would be so fixated on making sure I knew everything just for the exams. And usually after the exams, I would forget quite a bit of what I, was stud what I actually studied for the exams as it was of no meaning to me. Studying caused me a lot of anxiety and it was creeping at times as I would put aside all other priorities just for the sake of getting good grades. I do feel that I miss out quite a bit um, during my younger years just because school and studies and grades were just the highest priority for me. It was only during my degree, master's and certification years that I started to learn to enjoy learning and sought learning because I genuinely wanted to learn. It was not so much about just getting good grades and come think of it, I actually did even better during those years. In today's Gospel, we see the Pharisees questioning Jesus and his disciples for breaking the Sabbath law. Four of the forbidden kinds of work on the Sabbath for the Pharisees were reaping, threshing, renewing, and preparing food. And technically, the disciples had broken every one of them, according to the Pharisees. By plucking the corn, they were guilty of reaping. By rubbing in their hands of threshing, by flinging away the husk of winnowing, and the very fact they ate it showed that they had prepared food on the Sabbath. Jesus' response was by quoting back the Old Testament to them. He reminded them of what had happened, uh, written, uh, which was written in the book of Samuel, where David was given the bread of the presence, which stood for the very presence of God, and none but only the priests could eat of it. But David's need at that time had taken precedence over the rules and the regulations. Jesus quoted back this passage to the Pharisees as they would be very familiar with it. However, despite knowing about this passage well enough, the Pharisees never truly understood what it meant. Jesus was trying to show them that, that, that they had missed the point and they were skilled in their thinking of being so strict about following rules and the laws to the point that they could not show mercy towards others that their hearts were hardened towards the good that Jesus and his disciples were doing. How often are we similar in this manner, where we miss the point, just like how I used to study during my school time? How often do we miss the point of what God is trying to say to us through our circumstances and experiences because of our own perceptions and assumptions of things? How often do we misunderstand God and fail to show love and mercy towards Him and also to the people around us because of this? God is teaching us through today's gospel to lean in to understand God's purpose, to accept that sometimes our heart may not be in line with God's. In Deuteronomy 30 verse 6, it says, The Lord your God will circumcise your hearts and the hearts of your descendants so that you will love the Lord your God with your whole heart and your whole being in order that you may live. Are we allowing the Lord to circumcise or rather change our hearts so that we may not keep missing the point? We can only truly, you know, love God with our whole heart and our whole being if we allow Him to change our hearts. So I pray, brothers and sisters, that we may learn to allow the Lord to change our hearts so that we may truly understand God's heart that is so merciful and loving. And that through that, we may be able to lift that out daily in our interactions with the people around us or the people that we encounter. I'm praying for all of you. God bless you and have a blessed day.